when it comes to kind of talking about a, a woman's life who has uh, changed so many, uh, what was your biggest surprise, um, not only in uh, in your character Flo, but also in Gloria and her her tale? Um, I I I didn't realize how re what a reluctant hero Gloria Steinem was. Um, she really did not want to be the face of feminism. She was um, a very shy woman, a, a proactive, but she certainly didn't want to to be out front the way she was thrust out front. And um, to help her and help guide her, um, Flo Kennedy was instrumental in literally coaching her um, how to be out front, how to be the face of, of, the, of the second wave movement. Uh, I learned quite a lot because I didn't know Flo Kennedy before I, I approached this role and, and uh, the outrageousness of her activism and um, the courage that the, her personal courage, her, 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 her political courage um, to do the sit-ins and the, and the, the, the boycotts that she staged and, and, um, the the she was instrumental in in changing laws that that we now take for granted um, the fact that rape victims had the right to actually testify on the stand that was Flo Kennedy I mean that she was instrumental in what has now become just commonplace um, Flo Kennedy is now has now become one of my one of my heroes as is Gloria uh, can you tell us about um you know, this film itself, when you when you go down the road to tell someone's story, it was interesting to have not only multiple glorious, but also multiple angles in their life all converging at once, which is kind of interesting because the same way all of us live. I mean, the younger self and the older self, we, we all kind of meet in the middle sometimes trying to find out, trying to, I guess, ground ourselves, too. Yes, and the metaphor of the bus that you know our lives are this this bus with all of these selves that 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 we collect along the way and all of the perspectives of those selves and they are, they're constantly converging in, in 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 one way or another. I think that's the that's the genius of Julie Taymor that she's able to to reach deep into our psyches and and find and create these metaphors and visualize them in 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 such wonderful ways and so. You, we get a glimpse not just of of the glorias, but all of the influences on the glorias, and that then mirrors our 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 place in history, as we um, as we as we see history unfold through the eyes of each of these these women, not just the glorias, but all the you know um, Wilma Mankiller and 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 Flo Kennedy and and that all the women that have are thus far been unsung in the in the in the feminist movement that was one of the things that the real gloria steinem really wanted to make sure that these women that were so important to her and and her journey got the credit that they deserve and this film i think begins to do that well, i want to thank you very much uh this film is very powerful and many many messages and lessons therein uh last thing i'll say is I, i'm looking forward hopefully a COVID hasn't derailed the equalizer tv movie you were all working on before so oh, yeah. hopefully no, no it's it's a go it's a go it's a go we're going to start up in, in the beginning of november we'll, we'll be starting shooting so fingers crossed <laughs>